Hello and welcome to the first vlog of me travelling Southeast Asia. So my flight to Thailand is at 1pm so we're about to head to Manchester now. I'm flying from Manchester to Phuket so yeah, see you there! So this is us at the airport just getting our drinky poos. We did also all accidentally spend 70 quid on some perfume. And this is Evie eating her last bit of English brekkie. Weirdo. Final <laughs> Say hi guys. Hi guys. Hi. This is Evie and Eliza who we're traveling with. Don't show your passport. Oh, yeah. Look at the state of that place. It's massive. <laughs> We've got our own, Eliza's got our own big mix store down there. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that second flight, why was I crying? Anyways, I don't want to yap too much because obviously um, I want to keep it sort of interesting. I'm basically, I'm in a hotel for the night. Oh, great vlogging skills. I'm in a hotel for the night and then the two girls that you saw earlier, Evie and Eliza, they're in a hostel and then I'm going to that hostel tomorrow. But I'm basically, I've just got ready, like put a tiny bit of makeup on because oh my God, I felt disgusting after the flight. I've had a shower. I've not unpacked but like sorted my bag out because it was like badly packed and then i'm going down to their hostel now we're gonna um have some cocktails and drinks for happy hour i need some food from 7-eleven i'm starving because i barely ate on the plane so i'm gonna go do that um it's so hot so i actually don't know if i'm gonna make this walk like i don't know i don't know how i'm gonna survive in this weather honestly but yeah, I'll give you a room tour and then I don't want to yap too much because I want to save it for the podcast. If you're new here, by the way, I have a podcast. It's called Tits, Teen Trauma and it came from me sort of doing podcast episodes about like mental health and grief and stuff and now I really just talk about anything. Um, so I'm going to try and do some podcast episodes whilst I'm out here alongside vlogging. So I'm going to try and keep the vlogging more concise but anyways let me do a hotel tour room tour it's not too fancy it's only 20 pound a night or something so i'll do the hotel room tour and then we'll head out so this is the room it was so cute the one of the receptionists like came out to get me from my taxi and like carried my bags up but yeah it's basic but like it's the bed's really nice it's like such a big bed um you just get a wardrobe hello oh yeah this is my outfit of the night just this little top, this little swim skirt, and yeah, not happening. We're not looking at the dogs, and these sunglasses, which look kind of awful on me. One sec. Okay, Terminator. What the fuck is that? Might need to buy some new ones. But this whole outfit's from Amazon. How crazy! This top is so nice. Anyways, back to the room. Bed, TV, fridge, little dress-up mirror area. Bathrooms through here. It's more, it's like a little wet room type thing set up. Nothing too crazy. It's called, if you want to know what it's called, it's called Aim House and it's in Patong. And then we'll go outside because I am a balcony girly. I need a balcony. I need a balcony. To be fair, kind of thought the view would be a bit better than whatever the fuck that is there. But if we just ignore that, it is so hot. Oh, anyways, let's go back inside. But yeah, so that's that. I'm gonna head off now. I'm gonna go eat, drink, whatever, explore. And I'll take you with me. Let's go. I'm actually so, so scared. Oh, just smelled marijuana. Um, this is so embarrassing vlogging in public, but. I am so scared I'm going to get hit by a motorbike. For the vlog! <laughs> We're at the hostel. Um, beer taste test. Ew. Fantastic. Going to give me tummy ache, but it's worth it. Are you vlogging? Yeah, I did win. I did win. I won. I won. <laughs> She's a cheat. Yeah. What? Crazy! Oh my god. Have you seen some of the videos of the Oh my god. What did you guys have Just came up to me and was like, you're very vanilla. I'm chocolate, chocolate's better. Yeah. And then you want, just like, do you want a chocolate boyfriend? We've been here 10 minutes. Yeah. 
I feel like being so pale and ginger, and especially with you being blonde, that's gonna happen a lot. Yeah. Isn't it? Banana. That looks terrible. Bangalore! Let's go! Yeah, We've still not fucking found food. Thanks, oh. really. So we've come to the like Bangalore Road like Patong night market and it's so overstimulating isn't it? Yeah, like so everyone cheap. it is pretty cheap. It's like everyone's saying a hundred baht for like veggie, pad thai, whatever. But well, everyone will cost you, but you kind of expect that. I just tried to pick somewhere where it looked like there was like locals, didn't we? Because that's what people say. It's the same one as but obviously Yeah, yeah, because this is daddy's right, daddy's cooking and they gave us these wipes and stuff. I don't think he's he's doing it. He's different, so we them. First pad thai in Thailand taste test. Look at it. Slay. Not this angle. Don't know why they're giving us a four. But... Oh my god. That's so saucy. So much so oh that's banging that. Oh I didn't know I thought it would have been like more rice. Rice? It's noodles. They, oh, it's noodles. <laughs> Where's the rice in my noodles? Oh well that's good. Mm. Probably you've never had it. Just finished eating, now we're walking through Bangla Road again, it's a bit more lively as you can tell. It's going a bit crazy. First time in a 7-Eleven. That's the two Is it? What are we gonna buy? I feel a bit sick to be honest. Oh, there's like, got loads of skincare. I just find it crazy. Whitening, facial cream. What the hell? If I got that, I would be the color of that skirt. Oh. Loads of face stuff. And I'm so tempted because my skin's awful at the minute. But we're here for food. I don't even want anything, but I, I'm gonna be hungry. I just feel Do a bit you remember sick. Remember when you were younger? Oh yeah. Do you milk? Oh my god! Ew. So overwhelmed. Egg, but I don't know what's what. And salmon. These sushi things i fucking don't like sushi though so and also oh, i don't know what's meat because i'm a veggie text we're doing the 7-eleven haul what is it oi that's good you know that's delicious oh my god i've never Mine's kind of boring. They got like toasties and stuff. All I got was water. Some vitamin water. Some corn chocolate snacks and some seaweed. Good job. Mm. 
chocolate toasty with jam in it. I can't remember exactly what it's called. Oh, 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 it's okay. oh you don't like no, it? No. I like it. I can't taste any chocolate, it's very sweet. I'm not sure where I left the vlog last night. Honestly, I was so tired. Um, but I've just got up. I've got up so late. My checkout's at 12. It's literally 10 to 12. Because basically, I really struggled to sleep last night, which is so weird because I don't know if I said, but like I was really tired when I went to bed. So I figured I'd sleep through the night. I figured I'd sort of jet lag, but I kept waking up. Woke up at like 5 a.m. for about two hours. And then I started my period which explains why I've been feeling so anxious and shit, at least, and that's a relief. But it also means I've just used a moon cup for the first time. So I'll keep you updated, updated on how that is, because basically I never got a chance to try it in the UK because I've got PCOS and my cycle's not very even. So I, I didn't have a period for the whole time that I bought moon cups for. And I feel like that's something that no one really talks about on their vlogs and stuff. So I'll let you know how it is having a period out here because I just can't be a birth control girly. I already have fucked up hormones and I'm too scared to do that. I've heard the horror stories anyway. What am I on about? I'm about to check out the hotel. Really considering it's a 10 minute walk, but obviously it's really hot and I have to cross these crazy roads. I'm really considering getting a grab because I've not really eaten. I'm on my period. I don't want to start the day off feeling faint. Um, God, it's dramatic, isn't it? But anyways, I've got to go check out. This is just the tour of the hostel. It's called Love Dean. It was on Patong Beach. I went for the four bedroom women's only room. Honestly, it was so nice. This is the bed. You had loads and loads of power outlets. It was kind of amazing. And the aircon was really, really good as well. And then there's also this balcony, which is really nice. Even the view is quite cute. I didn't use it to be fair though. And then we've also got the bathrooms, which is so nice, so clean, and literally always empty. So I love that. We're at the beach now, but I feel like the water here is not very blue. But I don't know if it's just because I'm still in the sand not being moany and it's, the sun's gone in so it's nice and cool because i'm a pussio and i need it to be like cool temperature basically because look at the color of me Evie and eliza are sat over there that's my chair that's a good zoom and yeah it's pretty well that's so embarrassing i can't um yes yeah, so i think we're scratching the whole plan of like going to old town today because apparently there's a night market on tomorrow so tonight what we're going to do is just chill for the day, go get some food, go get some lunch. I've just been to 7-Eleven and had breakfast even though it's like 1pm and then um, I think we'll get lunch, get tea, get ready later, get tea and then go out, have some drinks and go to a ping pong show. The girls met someone in the hostel so maybe her and her friends will join us as well. She's from England. So that'll be fun hopefully but yeah I'll keep you updated and then we'll probably do Old Town tomorrow because I definitely do want to see it. I'm going to take... Evie's just gone... There's like, like a person come up selling stuff and Evie's just gone, no, no, no. And she's seen that there's a fucking huge corn. She's gone, how much is the corn? It's 80 baht. Which is like two quid. She didn't give me one of them. So she's getting a corn. with it, I dare you. <laughs> Not her posing. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me, can I have one please? Yes please. <laughs> Everybody wants you. 
Uh-oh, we all get a coin. <laughs> that's good, that. It's lunch. I might have to get one. So, we've got ready and... Am I in it? Yes. Am I still in it? Yeah. We've got ready and we've come out for some food. I've just got this lemon soda with vodka. Oh, and a helmet vodka. Hopefully, like, the sponge measures. That's what I thought. Can you taste it? No, it tastes like just lemon and soda. That's good though. That's yeah, it's nice. I hate it. Did you ask for a double? I don't think they do I think that in other countries. Yeah. Single's not like a thing anywhere else. Um, we've different. just ordered, e we've, me and Evie are sharing some vegetable spring rolls. She's getting her chicken noodle soup, right? Oh, yeah. I'm getting, me and Eliza are getting, no, I like chicken, <laughs> but I just don't eat it because I have morals. Fake veggie. <laughs> oh, you don't have morals. Um, I have no morals. And then me and Eliza are asking tofu, <laughs> fried rice. Hey, hey. It feels like I'm filming my parents. Like, hey. <laughs> so, yeah, maybe we'll give a review. But tonight's a big night because we're going to go to a ping pong show. Hell yeah, let's see some ping pong balls. I'll let's see some. I hope I get a, like, what was it? A cucumber in the. No, I don't hope I get a banana. Someone. We met some girls in the hospital who said that they no, know that someone who got a banana in, in their face. Um, <laughs> you've never had a banana on your face? No. Lesbian! It's actually not me. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually too straight. <laughs> Outfit of the night. Maybe there is a lot of vodka in that because I feel a bit drunk. <laughs> After a sip. <laughs> After a sip. Um, this is it. Top shot. Oh my god, she's doing an OOTD. Oh yeah. Shoes, blister pastas. Oh, um, cute. This is from Depop. This is from... Urban? No. Sorry, that was... <laughs> no, I felt a raindrop. Did you? Anyway, let me check. That's it. <laughs> Evie's added all the spice and now she's stressed because she didn't try it first. We've got our food here. Great. Yeah, I think I'm a little bit drunk to off that. I can't be
just got some um, caricatures done. Yeah. Oh my god, look, the mountain over there is so gorgeous here. We wish we'd. Oh, that feels cruel. Are they real fish? Oh my god, do you remember that woman taking the fish out of vaginas last night? Yeah. That was disgusting. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I, hadn't, I, reckon, I wish we'd stayed here. Let's try and, uh, what was it, like a rice, Japanese rice thingy? Mm. I mean, it's just rice. It was nice. It was only 30 baht. Okay. It's so hot. I feel like giving it a set is a hot. So I'm trying this fish dessert that I've seen online everywhere. I don't know if you can hear me because there's actually street karaoke going on right now. But um, it's like got red bean in it and I just feel like that sounds disgusting but everyone loves it so I want to try it. So sweet. Sweet. Can I give it a bit? Yeah. I don't think I want it all. It's too dry. But it's nice. Like that's not what you would think it would taste like. It's like a donut. Do you want to try some? Sorry, it's eating with my mouth open. It tastes like a waffle. I've also tried a corn dog, even though I'm vegetarian. But Evie bought it, so I didn't buy it. So yeah, we were just last night at Phuket Old Town and then we bedded down early. I still kind of struggled to sleep though, I can't lie, like I kept waking up like every hour. But I, I do that usually when I sleep in a new place, it took me a while to get used to it. So maybe I'll just never have a full night's sleep. But yes, we're on our way to the PP Islands now and yeah, I'm going to do a vlog for that. So stay tuned and thanks for watching. Oh, remember to subscribe and like the video. Um, yeah. Thank you for watching. Bye.